Morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, Dr. Sean Conley, physician to the president. Uh, this morning, I'd like to start by uh, first sharing that the president and first family, first lady, extremely grateful for the enormous outpouring of support and prayers that the whole world and uh, country have been providing and sharing. I'd like to thank Colonel Andrew Barr and all the medical and support staff here at Walter Reed for their tireless efforts, providing everything and anything the medical team, the president, and I could need. This morning, the president is doing very well. Behind me are some of the members of uh, the president's medical team, uh, whom I'd like to introduce. Uh, Dr. Sean Dooley, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Brian Garibaldi, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Robert Browning, pulmonary critical care. Dr. Jason Blaylock, infectious disease. Dr. Wes Campbell, infectious disease. Dr. John Hodgson, anesthesia. Major Kurt Klein, Army nurse. Commander Megan Nasworthy, Navy nurse. Lieutenant Juliana Lev Levopa, Navy nurse. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander John Shea, clinical pharmacist. And not present with us are Lieutenant Beth Carter, Lieutenant Maureen Meehan, both Navy nurses, and Dr. Jesse Schoenow, director of our executive medicine program. As reported yesterday, consultation with this group, I recommended we bring the president up to Walter Reed as a precautionary me measure to provide state-of-the-art monitoring and any care that he may need. Just 72 hours into the diagnosis now, the first week of COVID, and in particular days 7 to 10, are the most critical in determining the likely course of this illness. At this time, the team and I are extremely happy with the progress the president has made. Thursday, he had a mild cough and some nasal congestion and fatigue, all of which are now resolving and improving. At this time, I'd like to bring up Dr. Dooley to discuss some of the specifics of the president's care. Thank you and uh, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Sean Dooley, as uh, Dr. Conley mentioned. I'll start off by uh, mentioning what, a, what an incredible, uh, how incredibly proud I am of our medical team assembled behind me uh, and the honor it's been to care for the, the president over these last uh, 24 hours here at Walter Reed. He's receiving outstanding multidisciplinary care, uh, the state of the science uh, for coronavirus infection. We are monitoring him very closely uh, for any evidence of complications from either the coronavirus illness or the therapies that we are prescribing to uh, make him better. We have monitored his cardiac function, uh, his kidney function, his liver function, all of those are normal. And the president this morning is not on oxygen, uh, not having difficulty breathing or walking around uh, the White House medical unit upstairs. He's in exceptionally good spirits. And in fact, uh, as we were completing our multidisciplinary rounds this morning, uh, the quote he, he left us with was, I feel like I could walk out of here today. And, and that was a very encouraging comment from the president. Moving forward, I'll, I'll go ahead and introduce Dr. Garibaldi, who will talk about some of our therapeutics and the plan for uh, plan of care for today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dooley. And I'd like to echo the sentiment from the entire team, what a, a honor and a privilege it is to be part of this multidisciplinary unit to care for the president. Um, about 48 hours ago, the president received uh, a special antibody therapy directed against the coronavirus, and we're working very closely with the company to monitor him uh, in terms of uh, that outcome. Um, yesterday evening, he received his first dose of IV remdesivir, and our plan is to continue a five-day treatment course for remdesivir. And the big plan for today, since he's in such great spirits and doing well, is to encourage him to eat, to drink, to stay hydrated, to be up out of bed, and to be working and doing the thing, things that he needs to do uh, to get well. Um, and I'll refer Dr. Connolly to any, any questions. Thanks, Brian. It's important to note the president's been fever-free for over 24 hours. Uh, we remain cautiously optimistic, um, but he's doing great. Um, with that, oh, one other note. It should be clear that uh, he's got plenty of work to get done from the chief of staff 